Hello guys, this is Pierce Callaway again with a little bit more uh, fitness tips and exercises and also I'll be bringing you more of the Word of God like like primarily I want to do, um, but tie in exercise also. So guys, today, because I have a BOSU ball and I don't see many people using it, it is one of the best pieces of equipment that, that I've ever personally purchased. So what I'd like to show you today is, besides just a regular plank, I'd like to show you how to do a plank on a BOSU ball, but then add an extra step to it to make it a little bit more advanced. Okay, so today we'll call these just simply BOSU ball planks. So on your BOSU ball, you'll want the elbows, both elbows right in the middle of the BOSU ball. Once you have that, you simply make sure your lower back is completely straight and you want to hold for at least 10 seconds before doing this next move. You'll hold here and then whichever arm you want to start with You'll simply push up and push up with the other and back down. Push up and back down. You can go as fast and as slow as you need to. The faster you go, the more instability and shaking that will occur. I'll demonstrate. And then I'll hold my plank. Again, remember, for every 10 seconds, I want one push-up with each arm. And you'll hold. Okay? Guys, you do this exercise until exhaustion, which as you can see, it won't be very long that you'll be doing this before you do get exhausted. A plank absolutely takes everything out of you and is working every single muscle group, guys, in the entire body. So I wanted to add a push-up with it just to make it even more difficult so that you'd burn off more calories and achieve, again, a much higher heart rate, which is what we all need to be shooting for no matter what exercise you choose. So guys, again, those are called BOSU ball planks. Please list something in the comments if you have any questions about it, form, anything. I'm here to help you. And then guys, second now, I'd like to share with you just more scripture that God's kind of putting, you know, at least on my heart right now to share with you. And in the comments section, stuff too, please tell me what you think, guys. Pray about it. Pray about what I'm saying and see if it's from God. Which is where this brings me. Guys, in the Bible, in 1 John chapter 4, verse right now 1 through actually... It says right here, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, and every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. In other words, right now, guys, do not believe everything you hear. Even if it's from another Christian, even if it's from your own pastor. When it says to test the spirit of someone, that means, guys, your spirit is here. From here comes words out of the mouth. 
if that person or that spirit, because guys, spirits are just other people. It's our inner being. It's who we are. You can tell if someone has a good or a bad spirit by testing it this way. Just by even asking the person, what do you feel about this? What do you feel about this? Test their spirit first, guys, is what it's saying, is look at the source. And now, even though we are not supposed to judge each other, you can tell another believer by the fruit that they produce. So you guys, we can tell, for lack of better words, the shape of their heart or their spirit by asking God, is that person of you? It's very, very simple to do, guys. Instead, most of the time, you and I are led astray because we just keep believing Whatever pastor says, whatever our friends say, whatever our families say, God's asking you not to do that. Whatever you hear, it doesn't matter if it's on a Sunday morning, doesn't matter if it's from TV, doesn't matter if it's from your spouse, doesn't matter if it's from a, the mouth of another Christian person, test the Spirit. Ask God yourself. God, is this message, are these words from you? Do not believe, guys, everything you hear and see. Ask God. Test the spirit. Test the individual that is giving that message. Ask God if it's from him, guys. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's just uh, not everything you hear is going to be true. So, simply put, ask God if what you're hearing, what you're seeing, or what you're doing is from Him, guys. That is how we test the Spirit. We see if something is from Satan or from God. And then we obey accordingly, guys. So again, if you could please leave comments, I like to know what you're getting from these videos, whether it's just for the fitness part or whether you want to, you know what, help me uh, jump even uh, in deeper into God's Word. Give me scriptures, guys. Give me commentary of what you think God might be speaking to you. Again, test my spirit that I'm giving you right now, guys. Don't just believe it because... I'm on YouTube telling you, and I just use a little bit of the Bible to teach you something. But test the spirit that's coming from me right now. Test my spirit. Do not believe everything you hear. And guys, once again, what I'd like to do and how I'd like to end is, again, by giving you my little version of, of an altar call. So again, if you'll, if you'll pray the following with me, because the Bible says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. So guys, if you would please, wherever you're listening and hearing this, please, please repeat the following words. Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. I believe you have died on the cross for me, and I believe all my past, present, and future sins will be forgiven because of the blood you shed on the cross. I thank you, Jesus Christ, again for dying for me and everything you've done for me. I thank you. In your name, Jesus. Amen. I believe, guys, 100%. If you've prayed those words and you believe them in your heart and you've confessed them out of your mouth, then, then you are just as saved as I am. So please, guys, 
If you did make this commitment for the first time today, please put it in the comments. Others will hopefully see this video and rejoice with you. So guys, thank you again for your time. And I'll keep shooting out those videos. Again, I love the likes. Subscribe if you like what you're, what you're seeing and hearing. And guys, I'll keep making more. Thank you for your time.